Hello everybody, it is Feral Cabbage here and welcome back to Skyrim. Last episode, this girl named Gizly? Gizly? Doesn't matter. That utter disrespect of her slamming the door on our face. I don't know. So, last episode, it came to our attention, we're broke. And even with the castle of Falconest all built up, and it's really cool, um, we need money. We don't have it and we need 8,000. So we're gonna do some off. We're gonna do some more tangent quests, and this quest is the Great Cowl of Nocturnal. So now we gotta find the Great Cowl of Nocturnal and maybe get some cash along the way. So our next current mission is to break into Erica's house for some information, because apparently there's some in there. So, and then afterwards we gotta steal a land deed from Gizli. But I'm gonna do some investigations at Erica's house to see if there's more to the story than is told. So, there's an arrow pointing right to where we should go. So, we're going to go right to where they're telling us to. Oh! I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> just kind of just kind of left. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> Alright, time to do some investigations. Just leaves. It's 2 a.m. when I'm recording this. Give me a break. Um. Alright. Ooh. Letter to Gizli. Construction on the port east of Jahana has been approved and will begin once the transfer of land is official. The boy's consent should suffice. As the head of the Iceblade clan, has long been absent and the mother has taken ill, per your brother's instruction. The deed is enclosed with this letter. Sending the boy to Riften before he's old enough to grasp what happened is a good idea. Not the orphanage, though. It's best he live, it's best he live in comfort lest he suspect their motives. Still... Is a dangerous gambit, made even more complicated should the rightful heir return. Your brother would kill me for saying this, but if you have a chance, it might be worth selling the venture for the right pl price. This has been more trouble than it's worth, M. Oh, it's Maven. It's so, it's so obviously Maven Blackbriar. What? It's Ma Maven is the one who does all the criminal stuff, so... Alright, we know who it is now. And she also signs off everything with M, so... While we're, while we're here, we're just afraid, but... Alright, of course Maven was behind this. I thought it would have been, like, a huge plot twist, like... Oh my! That scared me. I thought it was going to be, like, a much bigger plot twist, like, I don't know. The Layla Lawgiver, but... Actually, Layla Lawgiver's too good for that. So, I, I, I wouldn't put her to... I wouldn't... I wouldn't slander her name like that by giving her some... Like, like a Sindel retcon kind of deal? Yeah. I'm happy they didn't do that. All right, open solitude. Let's do this. I right, so talk to Gizly. So Gizly, is Gizly in there? Is she literally is Gizly literally inside? And in... wait, what? Is there another room? What? Huh? What? Uh, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm not going to buy it from Gizli because that defeats the whole purpose. But if we can persuade her, then sure. Wait, I know you. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, I can... I, I'm not the most smooth talker, though, so this might be a challenge. Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Eric because it would seem I know so. what you people did. This is not worth the trouble. I'll dispose of it for you. Nah, I don't think so. Motherfu- Mother- Dude! I'll literally just take it then. Like <laughs> you literally you 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 goofball. You silly silly goofball. Do you not realize I'm ace? My quest is to unite Skyrim and I'm just gonna I mean to be fair, I don't really consider stealing cowls and buying houses to be the most, you know, unifying thing of all time. But you know what? Mind your damn business. <laughs> nah, in actuality, Ace is just... Ace is doing this for the greater good, you know? Alright, check the barrel for further instructions. I like this quest. I know, I think, I think this is Anniversary Edition, because I don't think I installed any mod like this. But, I could be wrong. I, I'm, I'll look, I'll do some research about it off camera. Alright, I know it's by the Winking Skeever, which is right by where those two fast travel points are. And if you guys are annoyed by the fast traveling, let me know. 
if I see more comments saying they're annoyed by it, it's going to take me a bit. It's going to take a bit for the series to change it because I re-record these episodes in bulk. I record these episodes in bulk and I edit them in bulk. They're not much editing required, but I still, you know, do it all in bulk. So, yeah. Oh, final instructions, you say? Let's see. You're good. You picked her pockets clean and made the switch. Now you'll need to put those skills to the test and more. In Silver Drift, Silver Drift Lair is a tomb that houses an ancient Nord clan. Near a chest with a corpse is a corpse of the lantern. Its candle still burning. It holds a key. When you have the key, open the chest and you'll find a sword that can raise the dead. When you find it, bring it to the grave of the Grey Fox in Riften. It's a small, unmarked headstone on the east side of the cemetery. Complete the task and maybe you'll even get to meet him. Okay, so where are we going? Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. For real? They're really gonna do us like that. <laughs> We're really gonna... Okay, we'll get a horse and we'll just go stunk. Ding ding. Just right over there and it'll be okay. Actually, wait a minute. Look at the snow, see how it glows. Something so bright, shining so bright. Yeah! I knew Rudolph would have a use again. Yeah. Rudolph is the only Christmas thing I'm keeping. Sorry. He's staying. Look at this. How could you say no to Rudolph? And also, it kind of cuts down on all the episodes that are just me walking plate. Are those gargoyles? Those are legit whole gargoyles. Oh, dude, you're just gonna get flown over. Get clapped on. You don't mean anything. Hey, uh, by the way, there are gargoyles like right outside. Uh, I take care of that if I were you. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Okay. I'm having too much fun with this. I should probably go on the ground. I feel like it's faster if I just use the ground. Look at this. This is leisurely, lore-friendly activities. Glorious farm discovered. Yeah. I did discover this farm. Not trying to not trying to flex or anything, but I did discover it. So. Alright. How 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 fast is this? Oh my god! Yeah, I'm gonna use this more. Because we could that three episode trip to Stone Hills. Or was it was it was it not three, or like that two episode trip to Stone Hills could have been one. Actually, not really, because I think Mirror Watch, being in the picture there, would have made it have its own dedicated episode. But my point still stands. <laughs> We're keeping this around because. What's this? Boom, 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 boom. Wayne and Stones. Yeah, I don't feel like battling right now. At the very least, I don't feel like battling any hard enemies. I know no one really feels like battling hard enemies, but like right now, I, I, I'm all for a good challenge, but right now, I'm mainly just looking for cheese and rewards. So, Silver Drift Lair, here I come. If I get off. Is it E? Yeah, it's E. Okay. What is this place? Is this like added because of the mod? Not the mod, the Creation Club thing? I don't know. Oh, mother... Dog water. You know what? You're literally dark water, bro. And by dark water, I mean dark water crossing. I don't mean. Wow. Wow. Did you see that turnaround slam with my axe? I'm getting way better. You know what? No. Ace, you're getting better. What? Um, okay. That happened. is this place? Research urn? Okay. Search the urn. Gladly. But... Okay. Search bandit? This reminds me a lot of, um... That one place. Uh, that's, um... It's, um... Jirmund Hall, I think? I always... In my normal playthroughs, yeah. 
Hilgrun's Tomb. I always go there and get Galdir as a follower in my normal modded playthroughs. I just had a lot of followers at the time, so I didn't do that part, that quest. But I'll do it sometime. Ah. Let it be a lesson to others. We're, we're Kaden and we're Kaiden and Sophia talking, or am I going crazy? Their dialogues just kind of happen to intertwine. I'm hoping they. I hoping there, they just happen to intertwine, and I didn't miss some cool dialogue, or we didn't miss some cool dialogue because I'm dragging you down with me. Um, my my books. This seems to be a short dungeon because the the quest marker is getting concerningly big. Come on. Words and philosophy. Interesting, interesting read. It's still mine. Looks mine now. Um. Oh, never mind. Short dungeon, my butt. There's gonna be a whole puzzle here. Or not. Oh god. Oh my god! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Shrouded Hearth Barrow flashbacks right here. I'll take it. Alright. Alright. Yeah, you're gone. You're gone and you're done. See? Simple. Oh, do the followers not activate traps? I think I probably... I think AFT covered that because it's annoying. I don't want to get murked because my follower decided it. Oh, is there something hard in your pocket? I felt it when you brushed against me. I might leave Sophia at home because the constant... The whole constant sex thing... The constant, like, you know, sex jokes, it'd be funny. But I kind of don't want that to be, like, in every video, you know? Like, I kind Jeez, I just saw that. You know, I kind of want there to be just some. You know, like, I'm all for, you know, goofing and being silly. That's a weird... I sound like a teacher. But I don't... I kind of don't want there to be constant... That kind of talk. I'll bring her along for a few episodes, but she's not going to be a mainstay. That's for sure. Um, okay, where do I get the lever at? This can't be, like, a hard challenge, but it's definitely going to be... Or is it, like, down low? Oh! <gasps> Those traps were fast. Why was faster? <laughs> Watch it. I'm sorry. I'm real sorry. Search chest. Mine. I don't know what these are. I guess I'm just gonna keep keep guessing. Or are they broken? Oh, they're broken. Okay. Then I think they unlock later. Hey, so. Excuse me. Advice. Never Snake buy dolphin. Copy of the you remind me of a dog I used to know. Snake dolphin, snake dolphin, snake dolphin, snake dolphin, snake dolphin. Those are the two little little symbols there. So I don't know what to do with those symbols, however. I'm drawing a blank here, y'all. Oh. Literal, I'm so buff because I just managed to survive that. Just, just absorbed it. I'm just that cool and that buff and that awesome because I just took every bit of it. I ate every single bit of damage right there. Just devoured it. Okay. I don't know if I do this. <laughs> That's a little bit funny. But, I know that happens, but... Local map. Let's just check the local map. Oh, I was on it. Okay. Hmm. Um... Um... Uh, um, um, um... This is a very um moment, not gonna lie to you. 
Maybe it's over here. This seems to be a spot. No. Not a spot? Not spotty enough for you? I see how it is. Barred from the other... Of course it's barred from the other side. Why wouldn't it be barred from the other side? I want to keep quiet because that's like boring, but... Just me looking around the room, but... Maybe here? E-E. I'm just going to spam E everywhere until something happens. No, uh uh No, no, no. Probably just slide through. No, I can't. There's got to be like a lever or something somewhere, right? Hmm. Am I going crazy or was there like a note there? I guess I saw a note there. I think I'm going crazy. I think it's just not because I'm tired. And my brain's like making things up. Um... Yeah, so there was a helmet. Maybe I have to wear the helmet? I'm wearing the helmet. Hello, I'm wearing the helmet, guys. Oh. Okay, let's check here again. Maybe... Oh. It says... It says thing... It says dolphin there. Dolphin there, and it says it's just dolphin for both, or oh, that was the puzzle. I, I wonder why the dark oh, wow, talk about it fast, quick save. Bam, ow, oh, this is two drugger. Wow. I thought it would have been like two Draugr rights or something. Alright. Burial urn? Okay. There's a body next to it that has the key. That's what the note said at least. So. Body next to the chest? Near the chest is a corpse with a lantern and his candle is still burning. Is it in here? Oh. Oh. Is it no I move 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 Is it the spot? There's a lot of empty wine bottles. There's a body with a lantern that's still burning. This kinda fits the bill, but there's no Am I just going too far ahead? Search chest expert. Leather scout armor. Oh, this one for sure. Yeah. Find the key on the course of the lantern. Yeah. Is it open this chest as well? No, it doesn't. Okay. I'll have to lockpick that then. I know, not the most riveting content, but it'll do. Okay. Let's see this. I kind of prefer one hand anyway, so this would be a nice change of pace. Ooh. All right. And let's pick this. Oh, there's also a note in there I should read. I like reading the notes. I feel like it just... Reading notes is a lot easier than reading books for me. Because with books, that's a lot of reading to get done. But with, um... But with notes, it's just a lot more... Just... I don't know. With notes, it's a lot more, like, easier. Because it's like, there's not that many in notes. There's not that many things to read in notes. So I'm able to read them in an episode. Like, you saw... I mean, basically, the entire Lorecon episode was just pure reading. So, I mean, not that, I don't know, I don't think it's a bad episode, just there's a lot of reading in it, so. Okay, it was like A or something, right? It's like the f sword? Family sword? Um. The sword of Clan Iceblade, read. To my descendants, the ancestral sword of Clan Iceblade has an enchantment that dulls the blade for anyone, save those descended from our bloodline. It serves as definitive proof as one ancestry above all other, all other claims. Okay. I see. I see. So, basically you're gatekeeping your sword. Alright. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not good enough for your sword. Um... Oh. 
This is out. Oh my god. Oh, zero damage. I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see how little damage that did. Um... I thought, oh, I thought the value of 12 was the damage. Like, 12 isn't that bad for a one-handed blade, especially since I haven't trained it, trained in it at all. No. So, hmm. That makes me wonder, how could I use the blade then? Like, or like, how can I unlock the ability to use the blade? Okay, so this is the right way, so I'm not gonna go through there. I'm gonna go through here first for, well, it's simple, the adventure. I wanna see what's through here. Okay, okay. Have you made Oh, we have a thousand gold. See? Progress. We could sell all this stuff we're collecting. See? Open a wooden door. This is lead. Okay, this leads here. So like now what? <laughs> like I don't really know what Do we just leave? Oh, have this is this cleared? There's more. Not that. <laughs> um. I feel like there's a quest here. Is it weird that I kind of like it? Yes, very weird, Sophia. Um, I think there's probably a. There's probably like a base game quest that takes place here. Because from what I've seen, Creation Club things don't add new locations they kind of just they don't like they just they don't like or, i don't know i don't know they, they like kind of add they always put their stuff in i don't know why i'm stuttering so much but from what from what the very little i've played a creation club content they've only they really only put their stuff in um existing locations except for like houses like you know like your mirror watches or your hendraheims or your tundra homesteads that kind of stuff so let's see this. I'm excited. I don't know about y'all, but I'm really excited to see who this great cowl person is. Is this going to be Maven Blackbriar? Just being like, uh, okay, yeah, good for you. You robbed somebody. Chest. Coolest beans. Thank you so much. But maybe she'll give us a handsome reward as well. Oh. This is kind of sad. I'm going to leave the flower there. The curse of the great cowl is said to strip you of your identity. Wiping you from all recorded history. But the curse was broken long ago. Truth is, it wasn't nocturnal that robbed me of my life. It was my selfishness. I wore the cowl out of pure greed. I left my family because I only love myself. Then my sister passed, leaving her son an orphan. The last of the ice blades heir to a fortune. An easy prey for the wolves. With a boy in danger, it's time I took responsibility as the head of the clan. But if I'm to be his father... I have to stop being a stranger. I must pass the cow on to another, and in doing so, the grave fox must die. Until then, I come to this grave every night asking, m night bringing flowers to ask my sister for forgiveness. Damn. You've done well. Oh my god, it's, it's an honor to meet you. My joy knows no bounds. Here, a little payment for your troubles. I trust we'll never need to speak of this again to anyone. Need something? Hi there. Wait, hold on. Are they gonna like reunite or something? Got. I trust we'll never need to speak of this again to anyone. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I got a new thing. I don't know what I'm, what I'm gonna do with this. What's it do again? Let's read the effects. I kind of just put it on. <laughs> Sneaking is 25% better. Carrying capacity is increased by 50 points. Nearby live, living creatures, but not undead machines or daedra can be seen through walls, and guards turn hostile. Okay, so that's actually kind of useful. I'm not gonna wear it though here. But that does sound. Actually, I want to test it out. Quick save.
<laughs> oh my god. Wait, so what happens if I just take it off, you know? Like, oh, never mind. I'm good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Um, well, that's one quest done out of some that we're going to be doing to make more money. Uh, I got to deal with all this. <laughs> Okay, they're all good. A thousand bounty added to the rift. Oh no, okay. Um, yeah, that's uh, that sounds like a problem for us in the future. I'm gonna leave this episode here. This was really, this was a really strangely fun quest. Like, it was, yeah, it was kind of just a bunch of walking around, speaking to people. And in the end, we didn't really... Do we have the... Is the blade, like... Oh, the, he took the blade. Okay. Wait, can I, like, pickpocket the blade from him? No, I can't. But... Yeah, that quest was kind of... Not the most, you know, engaging... Or, you know, cry yourself to sleep because of how deep and insane the quest was. But it was fun! In the meantime, though, we gotta escape Rift in one way or another. But until then, I'm Feral Cabbage. Subscribe to join the Cabbage Patch. Now catch you all later. See ya.